Right everybody, just a quick one of uh, the faction tab in the bottom right. Not many people may know exactly everything for it. So the rules are set by the leaders for you to follow. Yeah, so attacking rules, do not hit tiles, hit SYL, blah 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 blah. Fighting checklist, five P's, preparation, defense, piss ball, performance. Yeah, fighting specialties on, fighting equipment on, attack boost on, crew size increaser on. Simple things like this go a long way, guys. Right? So try and drain that into your factions. When in doubt, shout. So important. Safety. Little tips on how to keep your troops safe. Right? Respecting everybody. Spying. Common rules. Yeah, just simple things, people. Simple things. That's all that's needed, yeah? Ongoing battles. That's when you can see if you're being raided or if your faction's doing a raid. Yeah? So you can see when one of your guys is getting hit or if you're getting hit. Or if one of your guys is hitting someone else, or a little cop raid and stuff like that, like police station raids, as you can see down there, that's where you can see all that. Build an occupation. So, governor war wise, you can see where all your buildings are, if you own any buildings, and what buffs they can give you. I'm actually not in there. But when you are in Gov War, you can see it. City Hall, you can see who has City Hall, who's got the titles, who's got the buffs. And you can click go and it will take you to it. There you go. And you can click on it, you can see the history, you can see who's the secretary, etc. Gift. That's where you can open up the gifts where people have done uh, done kingpin challenges or faction purchase gifts. Make sure you keep on top of it because after it goes past that three hundred or they've been you haven't opened up for twenty four hours they become invalid so you won't be able to actually claim the rewards. Faction investments okay always make sure you go for the recommended investment because it gives you 20% uh, rewards right i don't have it on this account right but on my other account you can auto you can you know quick donate and you always want to click the right option to do diamonds that uh, gold sorry always do your gold it just benefits you more and it benefits the faction more okay so when you go through and you click this gold ones will pop up time to time up here when they pop up you want to click them See, there you go. Click it. Just go through. Yes, it's a little bit of gold, but what you get in return is amazing, which we'll get down to in a second. Faction bookmarks. So, if your faction has any bookmarks, you know, where you need to watch out or where you're going to be fighting next, awesome. Have a quick look in here. Keep up to date with your faction. See what they're saying to you in your faction log. Yeah, so personal bookmarks. You can add whatever you want in it. Obviously, this is just a farm account, so we don't actually have anything. But yeah, so it's just got silly little ones. You can also access it here, but you can also do it in your faction log. Faction shop, that's what I was saying just earlier. So when you donate to your faction investment, you get these coins. And these coins allow you to buy resources, speed ups, combat buffs for protection, attack buff, defense, crew size boost, boost disinformation. So whenever you've got like um, troops inside you, it shows stuff. So if you've got. 5 million troops, it will show that you got 10 million troops. Yeah, so it's so valuable to have all these general things for free. Uh, faction assist, so transporting resources. So if you need to find someone to transport resources to, you can quickly find that, find it here. Right? Uh, reinforcing the member, you can't find them on the map, quickly find them, click, boom, and off that goes to reinforce that person. Right? Where am I? I'm here. So it's going to go to my main account. Right? So wheels on to faction assist, and you can obviously do it for station, which is similar to reinforcement. But I'll, I'll probably go into that at a later day. Faction help. If anybody needs help, you click on it, form all the time, do it the best you can. Message all. That's for our fours, but you can send out a general message, and you can send out a message where they have to confirm it to actually look at it. Right, and then applications. If someone's applied to your faction to join, it'll pop up here, and it'll also notify you that it is there. Members. That shows your members. Simply as that. That's that's all your faction members. You can see who's line online. You can see who's active. You can see what rank they are within the faction. You can see who's a family advisor, but I don't think they're ever really utilised for what they're meant for in a sense. Faction groups. You can have certain factions, so for like farmers, fighters, stuff like that. Information, fac faction public information, so you can look at your your ho home page. Yeah, you can see the permissions, see what permissions you have, what rank has what permissions. 
votes, so sometimes there's votes, people make votes, stuff like that. Uh, contribution ranking, so you can see what your ranking is within the faction. Yeah, so you always want to be donating as much as you can every single day. Okay. You can leave the faction, of course. If you're T4, you can invite people to the faction. Boom, you know. Edit, you can edit things, but that's only if you're R4 and invite people to relocate to the faction if they're not in the hive. And that would be where your faction base is set to, which is here. Just a little bit of information about what that is. I hope that's helped you all. And you've also got internal announcements here, so make sure you keep uh, an eye out on that. Most people keep it in there, you know, for people you shouldn't hit. Simple little messages. It goes a long way. Thank you for watching.